Jersey Mike's has gone from a local chain to a national powerhouse in the world of sandwiches. We've listed some of the most popular menu items at Jersey Mike's and ranked them from worst to best so you'll know what to order the next time you stop by. Look, we don't want to hate on tuna salad too much. In reality, a well-made tuna salad sandwich is absolutely delicious, and it makes for a filling lunch. But most of the time, we would prefer tuna salad that we've made ourselves at home. We think a lot of other people feel the same way, since Jersey Mike's descriptive phrase for their tuna fish sandwich is, quote, freshly made on premises. That's great, but, well, why shouldn't it be? And once you try it for yourself, you're going to realize that this tuna salad is seriously lacking. It's only got celery, mayo, and pepper to accompany the tuna, which leaves you with a pretty boring salad. It doesn't even have eggs in it. We suggest passing on this one and trying one of the many other actually tasty sandwiches on the menu. Next! We love bacon, and honestly, who doesn't? But if there's one way you could ruin this glorious food, it's by covering it with an ungodly amount of ranch dressing that will utterly drown out that distinct bacon flavor. That's just what Jersey Mike's did in the base of their bacon ranch chicken cheesesteak. If that sounds like way too many heavy ingredients to find their way into the sandwich, you're not wrong. Moreover, the chicken in the sandwich is kind of dry. The crispy bacon makes up for it, but it is completely ruined by the ranch. Add in all that cheese, and you have a sandwich that may give you a heart attack after you take your first bite. The different components all have something going for them, sure, but we think they would do better playing as the star in their own separate sandwiches. We love that there are so many sandwiches with mushrooms on them at Jersey Mike's. However, there's one mushroom recipe we didn't like all that much, and that's the Portobello Chicken Cheesesteak. When it comes to a meaty umami flavor and texture, the portabella is doing most of the heavy lifting here. But unfortunately, there aren't enough mushrooms to lend some extra moisture to the dry pieces of chicken. To top it all off, there are basically no fresh vegetables in the sandwich at all. Sure, you get some grilled onions and peppers in addition to the mushrooms, but that's about it. This may not be the worst sandwich, but compared to the other options on the menu, it's a sad choice. Want to make a ham and provolone sandwich at home? Go for it. But at a restaurant? We think that it's largely a waste of money to get such a simple sandwich. That's why you won't see us ordering the ham and provolone sandwich from Jersey Mike's anytime soon. Let's just be honest, it's boring. We don't want to buy something that we got from our middle school cafeteria for under $2 back in the day. The ham in the sandwich is okay, but it's nothing spectacular. The same could be said for the provolone cheese. The fresh vegetables add some crunch and flavor to the mix, but they don't make up for the lack of flavor you get from the main ingredients. All told, this this sandwich feels like an echo of another, more flavorful meal. Often, after you eat a large, savory meal, you want something that fills the sugary void in your stomach. No matter how full you are, it's always easy to put away just a little bit more of the sweet stuff. Unfortunately, when you go to Jersey Mike's, you're not going to have that many dessert options. It's definitely not a restaurant where you would expect that kind of thing, but we were disappointed with the sweet selection nonetheless. One dessert you should probably just skip over entirely? The brownie. You may be wondering how someone can mess up a brownie. To be fair, these brownies aren't disgusting per se, it's just that there's nothing that would keep us going after the first bite or two. The Jersey Mike's brownie is really sweet and almost too rich. Of course, you can't go wrong with a dose of chocolate in just about anything, but we think that this dessert is ultimately pretty boring despite the promise of a decadent little treat. So when you finish your sub and feel a hankering for something sweet, do yourself a favor and look elsewhere. We absolutely love it when restaurants provide vegetarian options for their customers. At Jersey Mike's, though, your options are still very limited. One of your only vegetarian-friendly options on the menu is the veggie. Keep in mind that this sandwich definitely isn't vegan-friendly. It boasts both Swiss and provolone cheese. Then green bell peppers, lettuce, onions, and tomatoes are added to the mix. Spices finish off the flavor, but that's it. There's literally nothing else on the sandwich. And that leaves veggie lovers in a sad place. We love a simple sandwich with uncomplicated ingredients, but sometimes the subs at Jersey Mike's can be a bit too boring and plain for our preferences. That's why we're not huge fans of the roast beef and provolone sandwich. This sub is really similar to the ham and provolone, but instead of ham, you get roast beef. It ended up in a better spot on our ranking because the roast beef at Jersey Mike's is actually quite good. Besides that, though, this sandwich is still as boring as the ham and provolone. It's got nothing going on that sets it apart from the most basic of sandwiches, so it has us wondering why we just don't make something similar at home. If you love roast beef, go for it. Here's another sandwich that you could just as easily make at home. There's nothing wrong with the BLT at Jersey Mike's. We just think that it's not worth getting it here when it takes so little effort to cook one of these up on your own. It really is only bacon, lettuce, and tomato. There's nothing else that makes it unique or worth trying, making it a kind of paltry sandwich. As you can imagine, the flavors come together in this sandwich well, just like with any other BLT. However, there's something lacking with the iceberg lettuce, and we wish they would have opted for higher quality ingredients in this case at least. Back in the day, Jersey Mike's was serving up subs before a lot of other restaurants carried sandwiches like this. 
And in the 50s, people would come to the sandwich shop to order the second sandwich on the menu at the time, the Jersey Shore favorite. It contains capicolo, ham, and provolone, which all come together nicely. It is a bit heavy, but we like it anyway. A spread of veggies gives you some crunch and more flavor. The lettuce and tomato make the sandwich a bit lighter and more manageable than it would be if it were just stacked high with meat. Yet while this is a solid sandwich, there are definitely better and more exciting items on the menu. There's been a lot of innovation since the 50s, after all. In theory, the California chicken cheesesteak should be a delicious sandwich. And while it's definitely not bad, it wouldn't be our first choice either. That may have something to do with the chicken, which has a dry texture that isn't too pleasant. Mix that with the white American cheese, and you'd think that this is a heavy sandwich that would make you more thirsty than it would fix your hunger pangs. But we were surprised to find out this sandwich is also stacked high with veggies. This isn't always the case at Jersey Mike's when you're ordering a hot sandwich. So we like that this one had something that made it stand out from the pack, but not enough to bump it higher up the list. If you're looking for a whole lot of meaty flavors in one sandwich, then we have the perfect Jersey Mike sub for you, the Club Supreme. It combines roast beef, turkey, and bacon all in one sandwich for one. If you want a lot of different types of meat, but you're not a fan of the more traditional Italian slices, this sandwich is a great option. In addition to all the meat, you'll also enjoy Swiss cheese, mayo, lettuce, and tomato on this sub. It's a cold sandwich, so it's ideal for lunch or a lighter dinner. While this sandwich is a good option, this choice of different meats isn't strictly the most creative or interesting combination out there. Jersey Mike's offers some types of meat that you won't see at other sandwich shops. So we think it's a shame to pass those up and go for the most basic meats of the bunch. The ham at Jersey Mike's isn't fantastic, and that's why the pork heavy stick ball special didn't end up with a better spot on our list. But that doesn't mean you should give up on the sandwich completely. It has a lot to offer when you consider the salami and provolone that appear beside that ham. The salami at Jersey Mike's is seriously tasty, and it will lend a deep, rich flavor that's balanced nicely by that provolone. Like most of the cold subs you'll find at Jersey Mike's, this one also comes with lettuce and tomato. These veggies are even more important in sandwiches like this one, where the meat tends to be very heavy because they make the whole sandwich feel lighter and more manageable. Now, we all love a good Philly cheesesteak from time to time. It's something that is warm and comforting, and it'll bring you back to the first time you ever bit into an iteration of this iconic sandwich. Of course, the best place to grab a Philly is in Philadelphia, but we can't all be lucky enough to live there. So if you don't live in Philly, your best option may be getting the Mike's Famous Philly at Jersey Mike's. At Jersey Mike's, a cheesesteak is really something to behold. We make each one the right way on a piping hot, flat-top grill. We'll start off by saying this, the sandwich is really good, and you'll probably enjoy the combination of steak, onion, peppers, and white American cheese. But if you left it up to us, we would swap out the cheese for a variety that actually tastes good, or at least has more complexity, and we might try to add our own spin to it. This sandwich is tasty, but boring. Here's another mushroom number, but this time, the sandwich gets much better marks in our book than its predecessors here. It's the Portobello cheesesteak, and it's relatively new on the menu. As you may have guessed, this hot sub starts out with plenty of steak, to which mushrooms and white American cheese are added. The peppers and onions add some extra flavor, and the velvety texture of the mushrooms works really well with the steak, and the creaminess from the cheese sends it over the top. Do we wish there were some more fresh ingredients in the sandwich? Yes, and do we wish the steak were slightly less dry than it is? Of course, but if you are looking for one of the better mushroom-filled options on the menu, and you still want a sandwich that features plenty of meat, the Portobello cheesesteak may just be the way to go. Sometimes you want a sandwich that's filled to the brim with meat. Whatever the case may be, the original Italian is here to meet your needs. When it comes to the meat, you'll be getting prosciutto, salami, pepperoni, ham, and capicolo. Yes, this sandwich comes with five different types of meat. Once you add in the veggies, this is a complete meal on its own. You probably won't even have to get chips or dessert to feel full after you finish one of these. It isn't for the faint of heart, but if you don't mind clogging your arteries a bit, the original Italian should be on your list of must-try sandwiches. This is truly an odd and interesting sandwich, but when you try the Cancro Special for yourself, you'll see it appears at first to be an incredibly odd combination of roast beef along with salami. Who thought of the combo? A Pepsi delivery man ordered the sandwich on his way out of the shop one fateful day in 1974. According to Jersey Mike's, it seemed to be a winning combination, so they put it on the menu for everyone to enjoy. In addition to roast beef and salami, you'll also find provolone cheese and veggies on the sandwich. If we're honest, though, those are just extras. The real magic is in the mixing of these meats. There are a few cheesesteak options on the menu when you take a trip to Jersey Mike's, but if you really want the best of the best when it comes to a cheesesteak, you have to go with the Big Kahuna cheesesteak. This sandwich is something special, and it all comes down to one very important ingredient, the jalapenos. The spiciness they add isn't overwhelming, and the acidic kick they bring makes all the other ingredients taste even better by association. 
We kind of wish there were more mushrooms in the mix, but considering all the other amazing parts of the sandwich, we can't complain too much. Mushrooms, grilled onions and peppers with melted cheese and delicious beefsteak? Sign us up immediately, please! Those with sensitive stomachs, beware, but this is definitely one of the tastiest hot sandwiches on the menu. While this sandwich may seem like it's a little bit on the plain side at first, that's part of the reason why we like it. It's the club sub, and it's like a lot of other club sandwiches you've likely had at different restaurants. For starters, it comes packed with ham, turkey, and applewood smoked bacon. While there isn't a ton of flavor coming from the turkey and the ham, the bacon really adds up for that by adding a kick of fat and a more intensely savory flavor, once again proving the theory that bacon makes everything better. This is the kind of sub you can share with the whole family, and kids and adults alike are sure to gobble it up. Just because it's not the most creative item on the menu, you, doesn't mean it isn't one of the most delicious. We love a sub that offers a kick of spice or an unexpected flavor. While a lot of the subs at Jersey Mike's are relatively straightforward, the Chipotle chicken cheesesteak has something to offer that a lot of the other menu items don't. The Chipotle flavoring may only be coming from the Chipotle mayo, but that doesn't mean it doesn't pack a serious punch in the flavor department. While the chicken in some of the other sandwiches seems kind of dry, the addition of extra mayo here seems to make all the difference. It adds some richness to the overall flavor, which makes the sandwich go down a lot more easily. And though the mayo certainly has some kick, you don't have to worry about this one being too spicy. The smoky chipotle pepper offers more flavor than it does heat, so your taste buds should be able to handle it. Buffalo sauce and chicken is one of those flavor combos that it's hard to go wrong with. And that's just the case with the buffalo chicken cheesesteak sandwich you'll find at Jersey Mike's. Frank's red hot sauce blesses the chicken in this recipe with a spicy and tangy flavor that you won't get from any other sub at this restaurant. While the hot sauce is doing most of the heavy lifting here, we like the creaminess of the cheese and the dressing along with the acidity of the Frank's red hot. It's an ideal combo. If you don't eat meat but are still looking for something delicious from Jersey Mike's to enjoy, then you have to snag a grilled portobello mushroom and Swiss sandwich. You're going to get a ton of mushrooms in the sandwich, and they will give you that meat-like texture and taste you love. This is what sets the sandwich apart from the veggie. It's actually got something substantial to it, and it won't feel like you're just eating cheese and salad on a piece of bread. All the grilled veggies come together to provide just the right amount of sweetness to complement the uniquely savory umami flavor of the mushrooms. Plus, as the name suggests, there's also Swiss cheese on top, so you won't miss that extra salt and creamy touch. There are some sandwiches that are super simple, but because they combine the best ingredients in just the right ways, they end up being some of our favorites. When it comes to subs at Jersey Mike's, the number four definitely fits that bill. It has our two favorite meats that this restaurant carries, prosciutini and capicolo. That meat is paired with provolone cheese, which we definitely prefer to the more common white American cheese you'll see on a lot of Jersey Mike sandwiches. Lettuce and tomato top it all off for a touch of vegetable freshness. If you want a stellar sub-eating experience, we completely suggest this sub. At the end of the day, however, it comes down to what your favorite is. I love them all! Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite sandwich shops are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.